everybody, I'm Nick and Gattis for MRC TV, and welcome back to another edition of Uncommon Sense. Today's golden jackass goes to Congress as a whole, specifically Republicans in both houses. And let's keep in mind that Republicans have a majority in both houses of Congress. Didn't the entirety of the GOP run for their congressional seats this past November all saying the same things? We're going to defund Planned Parenthood, and we're going to repeal and replace Obamacare. And while they still say they plan on doing those things, they keep pushing it back, so don't hold your breath. What is their number one priority right now? Standing still on those promises, or in other words, getting their next paycheck. House Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy said, we're working on funding the government. We're getting that through. As long as the government is open for business, the career politicians in Washington will stay happy. Never mind campaign promises, which nowadays are rarely kept. Politicians on both sides of the aisle talk out of both sides of their mouth so that they can keep their cushy $174,000 a year jobs with full benefits that last the rest of their lives, whether they're in office or not. And we, as the taxpayers, provide that for them. Granted, it's by force, but we still pay their salaries. They need to be reminded that they work for us, not the other way around. And that's the problem. Being a member of Congress is now looked at as a career instead of being what it was intended to be, civil service. And besides, the AP reported that Democrats, like Amy Schumer's cousin, Chuck, said Democrats won't even vote on any budget bill unless Republicans drop provisions on abortion, financial regulations, and the environment. I honestly think all these people, no matter what letter they have next to their name, are working together in congruence with the media on not accomplishing a damn thing that will benefit the people, all the while lining their own pockets. Promises by a member of government in today's political climate are the equivalent to a commercial. A company can promise you all these things that their product can do, but if the actual product produced is garbage, then the initial promise is forgotten. I'll leave it like this. Please don't be a prisoner to political parties. They all have the same end goals. They just take different routes on getting there. And just because you may have voted for someone, don't be hesitant to hold their feet to the fire when their promises continually go unfulfilled. What grade would you give Congress right now? Let me know in the comments section where I will reply to as many comments that warrant a reply. Give us a subscribe and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. For MRC TV, I'm Nick and Goddess. Don't let your common sense be uncommon.